Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of the Any Good Show. Is that what we're calling it now? The Any Good Show? Basically, games that I've missed along the way that have come out because I'm so focused on playing the bloody AAA FPS Battle Royale God knows what games. I've missed other ones that come out. I'm now going to play them. The first 30 or so. Give them, a, give them a bit of a bash. See if they're worth playing and I can recommend them to you. Today is one that I am so hyped for because it is, it is nostalgia central for me as an 80s baby. Maybe. I'm all about the classic retro 16-bit consoles and one of the biggest games on those was Streets of Rage on the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis depending on where you are in the world. It blew me away, side scroll and beat em up, Axel Rose, Blaze Fielding, you name it, Skate, I think it was number two, was that two? There were some banging characters and now Streets of Rage 4 is here to grace us with its very sexy 2020 presence. Is it going to be much of the same? I hope so. That's what I'm looking for here. I want to see the same thing. You know, the same thing, a fresh lick of paint, the same vibe, the same feel. That is what I want for Christmas. Straight away, there are different modes. I wasn't expecting this. This is this is new territory. Right, story, stage. Obviously, all I can do right now is play the story. It ticks so many boxes for people because not only is it nostalgia, the memories of a great, great franchise, a great game, you know, chickens under phone boxes, boiled apples under bins, you know, that was mental, but we loved it. People are also going to get very excited because it's one of those games that's a very easy transition to play with your friends, your kids, whatever it might be. Side scrolling beat em up, plain and simple. Axel, look at him! He is, he's, it's almost like he's, he's aged and grown and his clothes are still that of a 16 year old youth. He's just got massive. Like his, his ankles aren't even in his, in his trousers anymore. Uh, there's Blaze. She's been on a lot of nights out. Cherry. Don't recognize Cherry. She's got a guitar though. Is that a hindrance in a fight? Uh, Floyd. Basically Jax from Mortal Kombat. Now it's giving me the option here as well. It's, oh, it's asking me, do I want to get a player two to join the game online? So I guess it's asking for a second player. I'm going to go one player. I'm going to go straight up onesies. 10 years have passed since the fall of Mr. X and his syndicate. I can't believe they're back. Mr. X is back. A new crime empire has arisen, corrupting everything good in the city. It is room to be led by Mr. X's own children, the Y twins. Y twins, weren't they the twins in the Matrix? With the, with the, with the dreadlocks? I have no freaking idea. Oh my God, it's back. <gasps> Oh my god, here we are. We're back, guys. I'm picking up money. Oh, the combos feel great. Oh my god, they feel great. Can you still do the whole hugging thing? You can, you can. Oh, phone box. Boiled apple. Oh god, the, the weird wandering guy with the knife. Can you throw the knife? They can stab? Yes. I think you can do a special dragon punch now. Oh, you can. Bro. That was banging. Here comes Donovan. We've had the Y signals. Donovan's back. Oh, fantastic. God, I feel good right now. I love the, the I mean, the animation is, it, this is great. Basically, everything that I wanted from, from this game so far is absolutely delivering. It looks, it looks phenomenal. Always take the weapons with you. What kind of other weapons were there? They were like, they were like metal bars. They were <gasps> chicken. And it's just like, it's steaming. No one. Kids, if you ever find uh, steaming hot turkey or, or apple underneath anything in the street. Bin, mailbox, phone booth. My advice is, unless you really, really, really need to eat, don't touch it because it's going to give you some kind of stomach bug and it's probably been touched by a cat licked by a fox. So I presume, I think what happened is, every time I use a triangle, look, oh, okay, so every time you use triangle, oh, what is that move? Every time you use triangle, you actually, um, you tend to lose, it looks like you lose life, which I think is the same thing in the original. <laughs> Love it. Get some money. Does money matter? Don't think so, just points. Oh, BT. Is in British Telecom? Does he work for B British Telecom? I don't know what that means. The, mu the music's definitely like, I'm at like a 90s roller disco. That's what it feels like. Which is cool, you know. I can, I can, I can, I can get down with the nineties. Uh, 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 uh. This is where, this is where. I mean, that's where this game first originated. So those weirdos with the knives—they're very tricky customers. These freaking slide tackles. These punks. You damn punks. See, why is the apple on a plate? Who's put the apple on a plate? Always, always baffled me. Never understanding that. Jesus. What? What the hell happened there? Oh, that's a serious combo, lads. Oh, what's the star? Star move? Holy mackerel! 
the heck was that thing? They've had a lot of combos in this dude, a lot of combos. It definitely feels, it feels a bit fresh. It's, it's, they've definitely added a few little elements to make it feel more kind of like, more at home. It's like a, a kind of like a, a regular gamer in 2020. A few little power-ups, sort of specials. You know, you got, you got to use them sparingly. What the heck? Who's this guy? Yeah, some of that, mate. Stupid skeleton man. Where is it? Where is he? Is he, is he made of like scrap? Oh, finish him off with a throw, mate. That is gangster. Yeah, boy. Who is the shirtless wonder? Who are you, mate? Like, what? what's your deal? He's a ninja who's got his hands in his pockets. Dylan, you total twerk, mate. Have you not just seen what I did downstairs? No one does like ninjutsu with their with their hands in their pockets, you melt. No one does that. But watch out for these. These, these. This is new. These are all kind of like electric traps. And I like the fact that the enemies can get done over as well. Oh, wow. I can't even see what I'm doing. This is this is dope, bro. I'm, I'm not even joking. This is great. Who's this? D, her name is Diva. Right, that, that snake move is... So she's got an electric eel as a pet. Is that what I'm seeing? Oh, here comes Dylan. And he's brought his weird twin brother with different color trousers. Nah. Headbutt. Headbutt to the sternum to finish it. Stage one clear. Yeah, boy. Okay, okay, okay. Dope, dope, dope. <sighs> Smoking an imaginary cigarette. <sighs> Don't smoke, kids. It's bad for you. Dirty habit. Rank D. Oh, this is, this is one of those... This is one of those stupid bloody ranking systems that I used to get as a kid and think I've had a flawless, I've had a flawless, I've not been touched. I've not been bitten by a dirty electric viper. I've not been donovan with a bar. Still, rank D. Shut your face. Stupid ranking system. Doesn't make any sense to me. Police precinct. Okay, so we got we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We looks like we got eight levels. The final level being on what looks like the Hudson River in a plane. I'm starting in jail. That's kind of that's that's kind of that's kind of cool. And there's toilet paper everywhere. Look at the attention to detail, dude. It's just on the wall here. Just here. Kill Axel Stone. That's me. How's the boss? Fight MC. Someone's just written. Is that Gibraltar? Oh god, it's a big boss, man. I mean, as before as well, if you've not played a game like this before, I cannot tell you how easy the controls are to... Oh, he's wearing a high-vis jacket. Obviously a road cop. His name's just Dick. I can see that. Oh, I, w I wish I kind of knew more about the origins of where these names come came from. Like, they've got to mean something. Who's this cop? He's got a, he's got a taser? He's got a sink here. Oh, wow. Briefcase full of cash. I guess the, the money thing is just the top score. It can't mean anything else, surely. Oh, crap. We've got a futuristic Robocop with a, with a weird shield guy coming at me. Okay, Murphy. Okay, so you can break a shield. Right, here we go. Here we go. Trunjan. Give me a chicken, sailor. Give me a chicken. I can, lie, I can, murder, me some, I can murder me some phone box chicken right there. That'd be lovely. Oh, I've just gone through the shield. Just... Whoo! I tell you what, I'm doing all right, guys. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still doing okay. Of course that was gonna happen. Of course it was. There's no friggin' life anywhere. This is, this is mad. I can't get through this guy's shield. Okay. Just a second here. Just a second. We're about 25 minutes into the game. Getting a little bit samey. I don't feel like I've, I've really got, you know, apart from finishing the game. I don't want else to kind of look forward to. Like I'm seeing, I'm seeing the game pan out, and it's cool. There's new enemies and there's there's batons and God knows what. You know, I mean, I'm enjoying the the way it looks, the way it feels. Like it, if you've not played a Streets of Rage game before and you've heard about them, this is a this is a, I mean, this is a perfect entry point. It's like why bother with all the pixelated 16-bit graphics when you go straight in here into the big boys leagues, looking absolutely mint. These guys with the riot shields, I kid you not, like the the Murphys are really doing my nutting. Everybody else is easy street, but these guys are, are problematic. This is going to be a problem. I don't think I'm going to get past this bit. Oh, I'm so close to dying. Oh, dude, dude. You can just go through? Oh. Right, there's absolutely no way I'm going to go past this guy. I might be lucky. I might get lucky. If I can beat the commissioner, I'll be super happy. Oh, mate, he's kicking my ass. There was two of us. Easy street. Oh, what, dude, that's an absolute combo, mate. Oh, I've got more life. <gasps> No way, no way, no way. Oh, with that little bit of life left. Oh my goodness. I tell you what, mate. I tell you what. Rank D. I, I mean, oh, at this point, just like, what the hell's the point? What the hell's the point? 
you know what? I, I, that was a that was that was that was an epic boss fight. I gotta say that was epic. I mean, the animation again, like these actual cartoon drawings, like someone's actually clearly animated this brilliantly. Again, we've got two lives back. Music again is is he's kicking ass, mate. The music is slapping hard, mate. <laughs> Kevin, BT, British Telecom. Oh, it's Dylan. Hands in his pockets, Dylan. Who the heck is this? That's a new one. He's a new one. Yeah, I'm getting to that point now where half an hour in, I've kind of seen what I wanted to see. At this point, the, the one thing driving me on to play this further is just saying that I've completed it. They've kept with the classic characters, though. I mean, the, the, these Francis guys are wrecking me right up. The guy with the fire breath. Of course it is. There's one, there was one, there was one boss fight, I think it was two of them, and they would run diagonal in the original, and it was a pain in the ass. I'm just pressing buttons. I'm losing my mind. Oh, this is a very old boy. This is great. Again, just the, Francis, leave me the, the hell alone. Hello. Hello, Nora. And so someone someone to, has differentiated this guy's got a different name. And he's called Gal C and someone's lent on the A key. Nora Nora takes no prisoners, mate. She is a badass. So am I. I'm gonna keep nutting you and Oh god, yes, God, yes, 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 yes. First playthrough. Never played it before. We're living the dream right now. There you have it. My very first dive into Streets of Rage 4. Um, been waiting for this for a long time. I'm putting it out there. It's an absolute dub. It's an absolute win. I think I think you can't really go wrong. Yes, I've got a few gripes. I think it is it's pretty repetitive. It's the same as it always was, though. That's what kind of what made it so classic is it was a grind it was can i get to the end of the game i did pretty well on a solo first playthrough i think playing together with someone online is really key i think if you find a good a good LAN partner or online partner that's what it's all about they've added a, new, a few a bunch of new stuff as well there's stage select there's arcade boss rush battle online there's all different kinds of stuff so there is definitely opportunity to have replayability with the game too but you know it's streets of rage it's a great one having the collection you know, your kids, when they're ready, are gonna love it. You and a mate, if you don't game anymore, and you think, I wanna get back into it somehow, this is that perfect opportunity. It's familiar, it feels the same as it used to, you get just as much satisfaction out of it. Yeah, it's not gonna set the world on fire, but it's a classic, and you can't go wrong. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's dive into uh, Streets of Rage 4. Let me know in the comments below which old Mega Drive or Super Nintendo game you'd love to see reimagined with a brand new shiny version in 2020. Let me know in the comments below which game would you love to see from the 16-bit era made fresh and new. Uh, definitely recommend it. As I said, Xbox Game Pass is on there right now. It's on PS4. It's on Switch. It's on PC. There are different ways you can play it. So give it a go. Check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Like uh, the video too. And thank you guys so much. Take it easy. Peace out. Enjoy yourselves. Stay safe out there. I love you.